We are very pleased and honored to have with us today Cantor Saul Zim, wonderful composer, songwriter, and interpreter of the liturgy. Saul, would you talk to us about the piece that we just heard, your wonderful setting of the prayer for the state of Israel? I would like to tell you that I wrote that in 1988. There was a convention taking place by the Cantor's Assembly in Israel. They wanted, uh, as I call it, gladiator chazanut, okay? <laughs> Real heavy chazanut. And I'll never forget, I, uh, they, because they were doing a concert, and I, um, what I did is I said, okay, I gave it to somebody else to do, uh, a different Cantor, and it was on the program. They, they It was with orchestra, it was a very, very beautiful uh, rendition done by the cantor who did it. And uh, I put the Ovino Shabbat away. It must have been for about 15 years. I didn't touch it. I, you know, listen, uh, you should know, Josh, I write, I, you write, I write, I write a lot of material. I just put it away. And then what happened was I immediately decided, uh, Instead of doing such heavier cantorial, I, 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 I said, you know what, I'll do it. I'll do something which is uh, light, lighter chazanut, which is this. Two, 2003, I took it and I sang it uh, at, in Israel 
uh, in uh, the Mann Auditorium in, uh, and it was uh, with the Yuval, uh, with Sobel uh, conducting Mordechai Sobel doing the orchest orchestrations. And uh, it caught on a little bit, but, but in, in Israel, just a little bit. I started doing it at my concerts and every time I would do it, everybody wanted, started calling me. Can I get the music? So I sent them the music. These are cantors calling me, cantors, this one, that one, that one. I said, okay, sure, of course, because everybody was reading it in the synagogue on Shabbat. The rabbi would get up and, oh, Vidu Shabbat Shomayim, Suri Israel, Bego and it, that was it, or reading it in English. And then by in 2012, again, I sang it, I, I used to go every single year to Israel to sing with the Israeli Philharmonic. And, uh, and um, Mordechai was conducting. He was conductor and he was doing, and uh, of course, Ophir Sobel, his son now took over and is doing a lot of it with, with, uh, with uh, the orchestra too. I immediately, uh, it went, when I did it then, it went wildfire. It was like, they didn't let me off the stage. I, I don't want to say for a lot, at least three, four minutes. I was just standing there and they just kept going, you know, there's Israel, that's what they do. Yeah. That's how it started. Avina Shabbat Shemayim to me was a prayer and I, I always had such emotional feelings for Israel uh, deep in my heart. And, and, and as a prayer, I knew what I wanted to do with it. I, I wanted to make it into something which was, which everybody would be able to just sit there and emotionally, it's, it's the kavana I want to create yes. within each individual, the kavana. I was in my in the in the first room, and I used to sit there, and people were sitting there like bumps on a log. They would they weren't in they weren't being involved, and half of them could not dub in, or three quarters of them. They didn't they, not everybody is a, an Eastern European Jew who came and knew how to dub in or a yeshiva bacher. And and the reason I started that was to in to get people inviting them in, make them congregate, make them not my choir, but make them feel so that they could get the, 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 the ruach, the, the, and, and put their own, they'll put their own kavana in it once they feel it. Hmm. So I wanted maybe to write something that would, uh, that would create emotion or get them involved. You know, uh, Saul, it, it has a wonderful blend of both congregational singing and chazimut yeah. with the alternation well, between the two. And, Everywhere that I have been, the the congregations, the kahalim, just love to sing that refrain. The refrain. It's the refrain. Yeah. And now it seems that every when I was told that even every little shtibel is singing. <laughs> when I was told that, I said, "Nah, you're, how do they do the middle part? Oh, they don't do it." They just that they read. <laughs> so what I said, okay. So you know what I started doing from the Chazek at Yedei Migine Eretz Kadoshenu. I just rewrote it. Uh, I just put in a version in all my books. So I, I just went, I used the same, there are only three little melodies there in the entire Ovidu, all right? So uh, that's what I just did. And I, I utilized, and it worked. Because uh, you're saying, bless the state of Israel. Now, who you, you're asking Hashem to do that. And of course, you're uh, in... Um, uh, 
and then you go to you uh, saying ushlach orcha miit ushlach ushlach orcha va'amitcha l'rashel l'rashel sarel and you're you're saying send your your light and truth to everybody who to the leaders who advise who give and they need it they sure need boy. it <laughs> oh my god you're talking about israel you know two jews three opinions <laughs> you are a giant of jewish music and, and so uh, are you i love your i love your your musicality and your your very unique beautiful harmonizations which is and you've really done a big job with zamir god bless you God Thank bless you. you. And may you have many years of that. And you too, Zeigesund, and especially in this time. Thank you. You're so right. Much. Stay stay healthy. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Right. Bye.